I'm Vivek Law and with me is one of India's best known certified financial planners, Lovai Navlaki, answering your questions. Neha Agarwal sends us this question through Facebook. Uh, what is the very first thing I would need to learn about investing? Uh, interesting question. Uh, there are a couple of things that one needs to look at uh, when making investment. Obviously, one of the things that everyone wants to make investments for is to create wealth. Uh, but at the same time, what you want to do is to protect your investment. So ensure that the risks that go with, in, with investments are sort of taken away or reduced to the maximum extent possible. So the first step probably would be to understand what are the opportunities of returns and what are some of the risks that need to get protected and then do a deep dive in both. And, and how do you do that deep dive? How do you identify what is more risky or what kind of risk I can take? What is my profile as a human being? Uh, is there a template with which you can work around to know whether I'm conservative or am I a risk taker? How, so, how do you decide that? So, so one of the things the new uh, uh, RIA regulations or the Registered Investment Advisor regulations uh, mandates is that for every client you must do a risk profile. Mm. Uh, there are companies, uh, global companies, which have done a good amount of research on this topic. So that's one of the ways to determine what's my tolerance to risk. Mm. But the other thing would be that what are really my goals? So if I had 100 rupees today and my goals were such that I needed 200 rupees after 10 years, mm. then I know that you know I can manage with a rate of return which is equivalent to my bank deposit rate. I don't really need to take risk. Mm. But had I required that 200 to happen in 5 years or 6 years, then obviously I'll have to do something different, uh, which is take a little bit of risk to try and get to that number. Otherwise, leaving it in a deposit is never going to get me there. Mm. So I think that's, those are a couple of things that you would do. And many of these things are not something that is very easy for you to do on your own. Mm. Uh, so one, is, one of the things to do possibly is to look for an advisor who would be able to talk you through and look at all these aspects and, and work on those.